Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can make your own blender render farm at home. Now if you haven't seen the previous overview video I made, go check it out, it's really short and I basically show the one I did for myself. Anyways, let's get started. The first step, obviously, is gonna be to get the computers, you're not gonna do much without them. The second step is gonna be to connect those computers into a network. Now this will only work if the network is a LAN network, like basically your home Wi-Fi or your office network or anything. But if you're trying to connect to your friend's computer who lives in a totally different place, it is not gonna work. After you've got the computers connected to the network, this can be either by an Ethernet cable connected into the motherboard or by Wi-Fi if your computer has it. Once it's connected, Next thing is well, kind of obvious to download Blender and the add-on of course. To download Blender simply go to their website and download the version you want to. Same thing with the add-on, you might need to sign in. It's the Crowd Renderers add-on, the one that we're going to be using for this. It is completely free and a great add-on. Simply sign in, download it and install it as an add-on into Blender as you would with any other add-on. Simply go into Edit, Preferences and install it from the zip file. To find the add-on in Blender, simply go to the Render Properties tab and it should be under Crowd Renderer. The next step would be to add the computers, but first we need to get their IP. This is rather simple. In Windows, simply type CMD, where you search for stuff and open the command prompt. Once in there, type in IP config all together and then press enter. You should probably see a bunch of numbers depending on how many internet adapters you have, blah blah blah, but the one we want is the one that goes after IPv4. Although if you're not sure, simply try one by one all of them until they work. Next step, once we have the IP, is to go back to the add-on and to connect it there. Simply click on the plus icon, it should show a new node, then click on connect. You can choose a name, I don't know, you can call it John, P, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then type in the IP address that we just got before. After that, if everything worked, it should then connect to that. If it doesn't connect, make sure that the computers are properly connected into the network and that the router or firewall are not stopping Blender. If you're in Linux, it pretty much is the same thing, simply get the IP and then connect it through the add-on. Once they're all ready and connected, there are two more things you wanna know before rendering using the add-on. First is that if you try to switch the render engine, you might find one that is blank and it is like that for a reason. Don't use that one, simply use Cycle CV or whatever you want, but instead of using the usual render image or animation, you're gonna want to go to the add-on and render from there. Lastly, we go to the load balancing. This basically tells the add-on how much load you wanna put on each computer. Let's say you have two computers rendering, one that is really good one that is really bad. You don't want them to be 50-50 because then the good one will finish very early and you're still gonna be waiting for the bad one to render. This is why you wanna set the good computer to have more work by increasing the number than the uh, slower one. The only issue is that if you're dealing with multiple computers, this can get a bit of a pain in the butt since the way they did it is just horrible and the numbers change and it can take you several tries until you finally get all the values that you wanted. But anyways, that was all. And the rest really is just using Blender. Oh yeah, and make sure that you sync each time you make any change on the master PC with the scene. If you decide to change anything, make sure you sync it so that all the nodes are ready to render the scene. Anyways, that was all for this video. Rather than making it a very long 20 minute video that no one was gonna watch anyways, I decided to make this rather quick and concise. Still, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and hopefully I'll be able to answer. Anyways, that was all and thank you for watching.